Hello everybody, I'm Michael Loud and welcome back to Michael Loud and TV. This is part three of the Mackinac trip. We're actually, right now, we're on the uh, uh, Arnold ferry line. We'll take a quick look around the ferry here. Take a quick look. <laughs> My golf clubs to get out of the way here because I'm going to go golfing today. Um, Mackinac Bridge is right overhead, straight ahead here. And yeah, you can't see it because it's in fog. Yeah, it's in fog. And this is going to be the first time. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Put the golf clubs in the way. This is going to be my first time over to Mackinac Island today, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and also traveling on the ferry, too. Never done that before. So we're on, we're on Lake Huron. Are we on Lake Huron, right? Yeah, we're on the Lake Huron side, that's what I thought. So we're going to be heading over to Mackinac Island, so we'll, we'll journey, take a little bit, uh, we'll show a little bit of the journey on the way over there, and then some of the golfing once we get over there today. Yeah, and there's Starline, this is another ride that you can take today. By the, way, Kathleen, by the way, Kathleen is recording because I'm holding on to the golf clubs because I don't want them to go overboard. Sounds good, right? All right. Oh, it feels like. All right, we're heading out now. We are departing for the island. Are we going backwards at the moment? Yep. All right. So we're, they are going to turn us around, obviously. We are backing around. We are backing around. The star line off to my right is already off and moving for, a for star the line island. Up ahead there. By the way, Kathleen is going to be your photographer, filmographer for the day since, you know, I don't want this to go overboard since I'm sitting right next to the, the water. Number two, I'm golfing, so I can't really film myself while golfing. So uh, Kathleen's going to be my uh, trusty film, film filmographer. Hi! Hopefully you saw her face in there. <laughs> Alright, now, now they're turning us around. Yeah, now they're turning us around. So, okay, which one's the island again? The island is the one where you see the big buildings. I'm not sure if uh, all you all can see it, but where uh, the first star line is heading towards, that's so it, the island. Am I pointing toward it? Yep. Okay, that's the island over there. My golf clubs aren't in the view, right? Uh, okay, so the island's right over there. And that's what we're turning to, to go toward. And there's the... Uh, toward the island oh man it's gonna be a lot of fun so yeah. next time you probably see us be on the golf course so I have made it to Mackinac wow. Island along with Kathleen as well Hello. there she is yeah you saw her on there <laughs> so yep we've made it here see you can see above me is the landscape no cars on this island whatsoever so we're looking at the map right now, trying to find our way to the golf course. Hopefully it's not a long walk. All right, so we made it to the Washkimo uh, Golf Club here. This is the 18th hole. We're heading um, over there to the first hole. Here's Kathleen. Hi. She's going to be doing all the filming again, except for put this, in here? this little, yeah, we'll put it in the, that stuff in the bag once we get there to the tee. I got the clubs. We're in the Titleist hat. Sorry for the shaky ride. I'm holding it while pushing the, the, the gloves as well. <laughs> so, yeah, we had like a long hike back here. I had no clue where the heck I was going. So, we took like the scenic tour. But on the way back, we'll definitely take like the shorter route. Because uh, we can take like roads like that lead right back down to our ferry. So, this is going to be a very nice nine hole course to play. I mean, I could have played the one at the Grand Hotel, but that one was a little more expensive. This one was a, a lot cheaper than that. And you can play 18 here, but I decided, you know, it's a nine hole course. I don't want to play nine. So this should be a, a nice round at the Washmo Golf Course here on uh, Mackinac Island. As you can kind of see, it kind of looks like a Lynx course. Um, it's got like the dry grass and everything. So. There's our tee box, and the hole is way out there. This is like a par five to start out, and I haven't played in a long time. <laughs> so we're going to see how I'm going to do. Hopefully I can at least hit it over these weeds in front of me. My gosh. All right, here we go. 
So I lost two balls in the woods. Then I aimed a little bit to the left and I hit it right here. Uh, so hole. So maybe I can birdie this par five. Who knows? But I'm just hoping I can hit this wood. It's um, way over there if you can't see it. I did hit it over the pine tree, so that's good. We'll t get you up to the third shot. So my third shot ended up close to the woods, but not in it. So I probably got about 75 yards to go here on this uh, par five. So I'm doing pretty well for this par five so far, besides losing two balls in the woods. So we'll see if I can get this on, give myself a chance for a birdie. I've only played like, like maybe twice Just on the edge of the green. Now we'll walk you up to the putt and see if I can make a long birdie putt. So I got like a left to right bender here. This is probably about uh, 20 feet or so. And when you don't golf for a while, you don't really have a good putting stroke. So if I like make, I did yesterday at mini golf. Yeah, if I make this, this will be a fantastic. Slow. Well, okay, that wasn't good. So, got a chance for a par here. Oh, wow, that was a fast putt. Well, it's also got wet grass, too. Yeah, but that was. So, that doesn't help any either. Actually, these greens feel pretty dry. Oh, they do? Yeah, but that was a fast putt. Got par. Because oh. this part right here feels pretty wet when I walk. Oh, I'm even par. We'll count the first two misses as in the woods is mulligan. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds good to me. So I hit my tee shot in the second hole. Got a pretty good bounce. I got about 135 yards to go here to the green. We'll see if I can reach it. Before we continue, though, uh, this I, I said this was Washcomo Golf Course uh, here on Mackinac Island. It's one of the it's rated like in the top 10 in the world for nine hole courses. And it, it's like a link style course too. That's why you see like all the grass dried out and like all like the long stuff too. It just plays like a British open style course. So like St. Andrews, Turnberry, courses like that. So just wanted to get that little tidbit in here before I hit my second shot, which will hopefully end up on the green. So I made a nice so-called par on the last hole. I call it a par because I, you know I lost the ball, I didn't really count that shot. So, uh, yeah, I've got it on the green and uh, putted it for about 10 feet in. So, now we're here on the third hole. Uh, I'm looking out here, I got trees on the left and the right side. We'll show the hole now. It's 336 yards out, it looks like there's even some uh, weeds right in the middle. And the way I've been hitting the ball off the tee today, I may be in the heather. I may be in it. I struck that one solidly, but it went off to the right, so we'll see where it's at. So, yep, you know, I thought I was in the heather. Here's the ball. That is how close I ended up being to it. I did not hit it in there. I just walked up and found the ball there. So, I'm going to hit my next shot, and then we'll... We'll see you up on the green hopefully. I'm about 145 yards away. So see you at the green. So around the green here we've got something called a circus ring. There's high grass all around it. So it's an attempt to make the golfers try to loft the ball into the green rather than play it along the ground. I ended up getting mine on the green from about 150 yards out. I'm about 25 feet away from the hole now. Going for birdie. So we'll see if I can make my first birdie of the day. If not, at least
least stay hopefully at even par. Yeah. good on the long range putts, but on the medium length ones, I've been pretty good so far today, I'd say. Go in. Go in! Oh! Oh, it hit the hole! made par at least. We're on the fifth hole. I made it up here so far. This is where my third shot landed. So this is a par five. We're going to go for a birdie here. I'm a little off the fringe, but my chipping game isn't that great. So I don't want to like chip it all the way over the other side of the green. Of course, this is a small green. It's got a false front as well. You could end up down like I guess in the Valley of Sin is what you could call it. Trees behind it. So I was really cautious into hitting into this green. So we're going to get it out of the thick stuff on the green, see if I can make a possible birdie here. Um, obviously, I'd have to sink it on this shot <laughs> to do that. Some thick grass I'm putting out of, so i got to hit this just a little harder, but not too hard. Not bad. Actually, when, after, when I first hit that, I didn't think it was going to get that far. I thought it was gonna stop like up on the fringe here. <laughs> All right, a little tap in here for par. Got it. So if you don't count all my lost balls, I'm even par for the day. After five. So I hit a really bad tee shot. Um, if you look, here's the, here's a green right here. That's not the green we're aiming for. It's over here. I hit it on the other side of the heather here. So, I mean, thank goodness for the wide open space over here on the left-hand side. So, we're going to hope get this on the green here. I'm probably 80, 85 yards out here. So, let's see what we can do. Definitely not hitting the green a little off to the right side of it so I'll be pitching on there to try to get close for a par all right so on the last hole I did end up making a par this is a 219 yard par 3 the next was 224 so if I have a chance to make a bogey it's gonna be on those holes I don't have the length to hit it that far with a one get there in one shot so I pitched it on 
uh, terrible pitch shot, really. So I got about 15, 20 feet here for par. The way I've been putting, you never know. He's uphill, too. You missed that one. Barely. Double bogey. Oh, well, there's my first bogey of the day. Hole seven. And it was the double. Yikes. Oh, well. Still been fun. I mean, it's one hole. No big deal. Not a PGA Tour professional here. All right. I'm going for bogey. Ter two terrible pitch shots. So, could be another double coming up here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Triple bogey. Told you those par threes were gonna kill me. I was right. What was the other ones? What? Was that what were the other ones? Other par threes? Were they par threes? Well the other par threes weren't as bad, they were only like a hundred and some yards. The long par threes hurt me a lot. Hmm. Double bogey, triple bogey, not good. All right, here we are hitting my uh, second shot here on this par five. I can see the green. It's a long ways away though still. third shot into this hole. I'm over by a pile of sand. I have to be careful not to hit the clubhouse. This is a shot of disaster waiting to happen. Now I'm not even towards it. I'm almost in the sand trap. This hole is a disaster hole. Alright, putting for par. I pitched it on. Make par here, this at least uh, makes this hole feel a little better. Last three holes didn't go very well, but Washakimo Golf Course is a really good golf course located on Mackinac Island, so you should check it out. Okay, so this is Michael Loughton signing off here. Um, sorry I was kind of frustrated. There's Kathleen in the back. We ran to catch this ferry, literally. Thank goodness we had downhills. I mean, we made it like with two minutes to spare on this. Sorry I was kind of frustrated, though, at the end of that golf round. It's never good when you, like, par the first six holes and then just completely, like, shoot like crap on the last three, shooting a triple, a double, and then a bogey on the last, which I mean wasn't, as, I guess it's bad, but here's my score. I ended up getting a 41 uh, overall, so I mean, not bad, six over par. It was a really good course, really fun to play, very challenging as well, like a link style course would be. Um, so if you're ever on Mackinac Island, uh, check it out. That is the uh, Wawash Camo, Camo, well, Washcomo, that's what it is. Well, Washcomo Golf Club. Uh, check it out. It's definitely worth the visit. So for uh, Michael Loudon and Kathleen Loudon, over and out.